everyone! Welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have five different boxes to share with you guys. First up we have a mystery box, a mystery package. I don't know who sent it to me, I don't know what it is, so we're gonna figure that out. Then we have the Medusa's makeup subscription for June, the ice cream beauty box for May, an oddball club box, and the silver swag box for June. So in my subscription box Sunday videos, I like to unbox multiple different subscriptions at once so that you can see them all in one video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, lifestyle videos, things like that, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And let's jump into the boxes. <laughs> First off, in the last week I've posted two really cool videos um, and so I wanted to plug them in this video because one didn't get a ton of views, I think just because it's so different from what I normally do. I did a cider clothing haul and it was so much fun to film and try on the clothes. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out because I'm thinking about doing a sister versus sister outfit challenge with cider clothing. But before I do that and invest the money into creating that video, I do want to make sure that like that's something you guys would want. And because that other video didn't get that many views, I'm thinking that I might not do it. So if that's something that you would want to see, please go over there, view it, and let me know. I would love, love, love to, to hear that, and it's a really fun video. Then the second one is a different video than I normally post, and it performed really badly, and it's totally my fault because I accidentally had it go live at 4.30 a.m. So I took it offline, and then when I put it back online, I didn't realize that like it still shows it as being posted at 4.30 a.m., and I wasn't in a place where I could like re-upload until later. So that video like did not get good views, but it's a collective haul. And so I basically showed you everything that I bought in the month of May and a little bit of whatever month comes before May. Oh my gosh, my brain just shut down. And I'm really proud of that video. <laughs> and I feel like you actually get to see my personality and learn a lot more about me. So I'm like bummed that like it's not getting good views, which it's like, it's totally fine. It's not that big of a deal. But if you haven't seen it, those are two videos I would highly, highly recommend. I will link them down in the description box below in case you're interested in checking them out because I really loved making both of those videos. And I want to continue to be able to make um, content that's not necessarily subscription box related, but because it doesn't perform well, I'm like, is it even worth me doing? Do I need to make another channel to do that on? Or do you prefer seeing that on this sub box lover channel? Please, please, please let me know because I want to be able to do that stuff. But if it's not going to perform well, then it's like kind of hard for me to do it sometimes. So definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Also, I'm wearing a really fun Howdy shirt today. Um, this was part of my Capital Reef kind of collection that I did with them. So if you like this shirt, I'll link it down below in the description box. All right, enough of me jabbering. Let's jump into this mystery box first. I have peeked in it because I was like, what is this? It doesn't even say, it's from Pip Ship Fulfillment. And I don't know, that's not a subscription box that I know. So I, this must be sent from a subscription box company or somebody who sent me stuff before because I don't post my mailing address out there. Which question would you want me to post my I, I, my like UPS box address? Like, I don't want like people to feel like they need to send me stuff. But I, I don't know. Is that like something people would want to be able to send me stuff? I don't. I don't know. But I got this random package that I have no idea what it is. So let's open it up. All right. We have an energy cleansing smudge kit with citrine from Soul Sticks. This is strength and positivity. I literally have no idea. <laughs> who or why this was sent to me other than I'm like does somebody think I need to cleanse my energy <laughs> you know like is it that obvious is it that bad I don't know um but I literally have no idea this is the first time I like never had any idea of who because nobody told me they were sending me this and I guess if I posted my address out there like I'd probably get more stuff like this is this like fun to get random stuff do you want to see me get random stuff I'll post I'll post my my mailing address on my UPS box if that's the case um okay so what is inside? All right, well, I'm pulling this out. This is not the first thing on the list, but the first thing I have is this. This is a selenite crystal wand. Um, it's a gypsum crystal, which can be used to remove energy blockages from the body, as well as purify your space and cleanse the aura. It can offer increased clarity and inner peace. I got a piece of um, selenite in the Mindful Souls box that I unboxed in last weekend's subscription box Sunday. 
It's a, it feels very cool because you can feel all the like lines and ridges. Okay. Then we have a Palo Santo stick. Um, it's a natural wood incense. Um, this was used by the Incas and indigenous people of the Andes. Um, it has a natural he healing power when burned. It smells really good. I don't know if I've ever burned Palo Santo wood before, but it smells delicious, so might be using that. Then we get a sage smudge stick or a white sage smudge wand. Um, it's been used um, to protect of spiritual cleansing and all that kind of stuff. Definitely gotten this in boxes before. I'm gonna be honest, I don't love the way that it smells when it's burned. It smells like you're, I don't know, but it is cool. I may put, I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm not one of those, like if you're into like sa smudge sticks and sage and stuff like that, great. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't like the smell of that. I will like the smell of this. I can already tell I like the smell of this, but I don't I don't love this smell of sage. And then we get a citrine stone in here as well. Um, it promotes motivation, activates creativity, and encourages self-expression. Very cool. Well, I have no idea who sent this to me, so thank you whoever sent this to me. Um, I don't know if this is like a, it must be a subscription box company. Pitney Bowes, oh, I don't even know. I have no idea who sent this, <laughs> but it's very cool. Um, an energy cleansing smudge stick. Maybe I need that. Maybe that's, maybe I need to just cleanse my energy. I have no idea, but very, very cool. All right, up next, let's jump into the Medusa's makeup box for June. If you're unfamiliar with Medusa's makeup, um, they are a monthly makeup subscription, though they also do sell their beauty products at their online store. So if you don't want to get a subscription, you can just order from their online store. Um, their subscription has five beauty products. They are cruelty and vegan. <laughs> no, they're cruelty free and vegan. Um, it's $22 and 95 cents a month. And this box does ship internationally. So if you're not in the US, you can also get this box. This box is super fun. But if you're somebody who likes neutrals, this might be a little out of your comfort zone because they do tend to send a lot of colors. All right, so inside the box, you get a little bag with all your stuff. And then there's like, a bunch of paperwork in here. Now, their June theme is their Love is Love, the Rainbow Beauty Box. I feel like we're gonna be seeing a lot of this in June just because it is um, Pride Month, and so there's probably gonna be lots of rainbows and fun things like that. Um, they are donating a portion of their Beauty Box proceeds to Time Out Youth for this month. Um, then on the back, there are six premium beauty products valued at $65.95 in the June box. Um, then there's a little pamphlet that just talks more about Medusa's makeup itself. Oh, they sent a note this time. So new subscribers will receive a bonus item in their first box. Ooh, and now there's a code. You can take 20% off your first box this month using code rainbow20. Yay, that's really awesome. So if you wanna sign up, I'm assuming that based on the rainbow and this being the pride month, that that's only for this month. So if you want 20% off, I have not seen them do a subscription, I mean a code like that. I don't know if that's for the subscription box or their website, um, but it just says take 20% off. So I'm assuming you probably can use that. Um, and then in August, it is going to be their birthday beauty box. So that is to come. And then this is, this is just showing that, that the June box is the rainbow theme. All right, so this is what the bag looks like. Like I said, you normally do get fun colors and because this is like rainbow themed, I'm thinking we're gonna get some fun colors in this box. Okay, the very first thing that I am pulling out is from Medusa's makeup and this is their liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Get Lucky, which retails for $14. Ooh, this is a super duper pretty like hot pink shade. I really love this. This is a matte liquid lipstick. I'm not gonna swatch it today because I'm being a little bit more careful about the lipsticks that I keep, so I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'm gonna keep this one. But like, that is vibrant and gorgeous. I'm here for it. Ooh, okay. Super fun. I do really enjoy their liquid lipsticks. Gotten lots of different shades over um, the years of receiving this box. And this is honestly a really fun one. And I actually like this shade because it's definitely colorful, but I still feel like this is approachable and that like a pink lipstick isn't anything crazy. Like a blue lipstick's a little bit more scary. Sorry, I'm like, my back is itching. I don't know what's going on right now. Um, but I am a fan of this pink color. Okay, the next thing that we have is their Medusa's Blush in Beach Bum for $16. Okay, that's fun. So this is the blush here. It's in a really pretty pink color. I feel like the lip and this will go together really, really well. It has like a little bit of glitter. Again, I'm not gonna swatch because I'm being super picky about what makeup I'm keeping right now. But this is their Frosted Blush and it's in Beach Bum. It's like kind of like a Barbie pink, almost a little bit of shimmer in it. It's very, very beautiful. And again, all of this, everything in here is cruelty-free and vegan, so if you're somebody who lives to those values, then this is a great box. 
All right, next up we have this here. This is the Medusa's Glitter Eyeshadow in Sputnik for $8. We definitely get these glitters. These, if you're a glitter gal, these are really, really good. This is a really pretty kind of like silver color, like a medium silver. <laughs> I don't even know if that's real. Uh, it's not like a super dark silver, but it's also not a super light silver. So I'm just being super descriptive. Um, but these glitters are really, really great if you're into using glitters in your makeup. I also think like this is a fun silver, but silver I feel like is still a very approachable color um, because you can use this with lots of different looks probably more on the cool toned side, but it's still very fun. Ooh, okay, the next thing out is this here. This is from Trifle Cosmetics, and this is their jelly juice for $12. What is that? Because I, that oh, tinted lip glow. Oh my gosh, y'all know I love these. My sister loves these. She's gonna like be jealous of this. Oh, and it has little rainbows and little treats on it. I am like absolutely obsessed with that. That is so cute. I wonder, does it smell? Oh my gosh, if it smells like good, then I'm gonna die because, oh my gosh. Okay, let's smell. Oh, it's, it is tinted. It's, oh, it's like a red color. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excuse me. Is that smell like strawberries? Wait. I think it smells like strawberries or cherries. I just like barely put a little bit on. It's like a, it's like a red, red, a pinky red lip tint. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like cakey. Does it say what it smells like? It's infused with delicious cranberry and raspberry extracts. That's not what it smells like. So I don't know. <laughs> it also has vitamin E and shea butter in it. Um, but it smells so good. Like so good. Mmm, oh, it's like strawberry cheesecake. Okay, so that's amazing. I am like absolutely obsessed with that. You can subscribe to their newsletter and use code YUMMY20 to get 20% off your next order at triflecosmetics.com in case you wanted to. And I might fall in love with this anymore because it smells so delicious. Okay, not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest like rainbow person, but I'm obsessed with this. I like black. <laughs> Um, this is the Medusa's exclusive rainbow beauty sponge for $9.95. This is really cool. And I'm picky about my sponges. I don't know if I love this. It's kind of firm. It's probably better when you wet it. I actually do need a new sponge because mine is kind of getting gross. It's time to get a new one, but I'm obsessed with that. That is like so fun. If you're into rainbows, like you're gonna want this sponge. I don't know if you can purchase it on their website but you definitely do get it in the June box. So that is very, very awesome. And the box is what, $22? This is $9.95, it's like half of the price of the box. So super fun. Okay, then there's a bonus item, which is this here. And this is a rainbow hair clip, which they value at $6, but um, I don't know. This, this is a little childish to me. Like this is not my vibe. If you're into like cutesy, then maybe you'll like it. If you have a daughter, She'll, I would have loved this as a kid. Basically, it's ribbon glued to a little clippy clip and then they glued a little rainbow thing on it. It's not bad, like it actually is not bad. I just, that's a little too feminine for me, if I'm totally honest. I tend to like a little bit more of a masculine vibe for myself personally, but I kind of like it. Do, we, do I like it? I think I like it more than I should, to be honest. Right, I'm leaving it in for the rest of this box. Okay, the, there's something else in here, but it's not listed on here. So I'm guessing this might be the bonus item or an example of one of the bonus items you'd get if you are a new subscriber and sign up. This is from Seraphine Botanicals, and this is their Palmetto and Pillow Hydrating Matte Lip Stain in, I don't know, it does not say, so let's open it. Ooh, oh yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah, I'm 100% keeping this. It's in a frosted plastic, so I will swatch this one. Oh my goodness. Why does it, that does smell like cinnamon. That's a vanilla-y, cinnamon -y kind of scent to it, but it's just, wait, what is this, a lip stain? A lip tint? A lip stain, okay, well I guess it's probably gonna stain my hand then. It's kind of like a um, brown kind of color, but I love that color. It has a scent to it, but I'm, Smell maybe lemony. Maybe that's what I'm getting. Very cool. All right, well, that was everything in the Medusa's makeup box for June, plus the extra item if you sign up, slash the bonus item in the box. I really, really like that box. I feel like they did pride well in this box. Um, I really do like it. I think this sponge is super fun. The bow's super cute. I'm a fan. 
Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the Medusa's makeup June box? Um, again, they do have the code, I think it was rainbow20, where you can get 20% off your first box. I'll put that down in the description box below. And this clip is like definitely, I'm starting to like it, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. All right, up next, let's jump into the Ice Cream Beauty box. I love this box. If you're unfamiliar with this box, this is a monthly makeup subscription. This is a makeup heavy makeup subscription. It's $25 a month and usually comes with five full size beauty items inside. This box is sent to me free for review and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. I know a lot of you guys feel that like Ipsy and BoxyCharm are too like heavy on skincare or other tools and you want all makeup. And if you fall into that category, I highly, highly recommend the ice cream beauty box for you. All right, when you open up the box and this is the May box, this is what it looks like. All right, the theme is April showers bring May flowers. And actually there are six items in this box. So it can range between five and seven items in the box. And in this box, it lists six. Okay, this is very interesting. The first thing out is this which is five different eyeshadows from IBY Beauty. So it says IBY Beauty eyeshadow bundle. This retails for $25. So I guess these retail five a piece. So let's pull these out. All right, up first we have a shadow from their Super Bloom collection and this is in the shade Painted Lady. So inside they come in these little tiny things and it's a really pretty kind of like corally pinky orange type of color. Not gonna swatch any of these yet because I don't I don't know what I'm keeping or what I'm doing with, but this is super pretty. All right, then from their Enlighten palette, there is the shade Balance, which comes in this like shimmery mm, tan color. Ooh, that's a pretty like shimmery gold. This would be really pretty in the inner corner or the center of the lid. Love that. All right, then from the Ocean Awakening palette, we have the Marine shade. I love that turquoise color of the packaging and it matches. This, is, this one looks like it's kind of shimmery or at least kind of like a satin. It's definitely not a matte finish. Beautiful blue color. Okay, from well, we have another one from Ocean Awakening, but this is in a different shade. This is in vitamin C. Ooh, a really pretty yellow, kind of almost like a, and it's not totally a mustard yellow, but it's leaning, leaning in that direction. And then finally, we have one from their poolside palette and this is in the shade No Running. In this purple color. So this kind of has the same like kind of, I don't know if it's metallic, but the same kind of finish as the blue one did. Very cool. So you get like a whole set of single eyeshadows. I personally don't prefer single eyeshadows, but I do think that this is kind of fun. Like just the little concept of having these, like, I don't know, as a kid, I'd be all over this. This is super duper fun. You get some fun colors. This is probably my favorite shade, but then you also get some fun colors to play around with as well. So super fun. I'm assuming that pe probably different people got different shades. But I could be totally wrong and everybody got the same shades, but just the vibe of this is that I feel like everybody might have gotten different shades depending on their box. All right, the next thing that I'm pulling out is from Base Blue Cosmetics, and this is their blush and shadow palette, which retails for $42. Packaging's really nice, it like opens up here. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh, blush and shadow. I was like, this is all blush? Cause I see blue. Wait a second, that is stunning. There's no mirror, but like, that is a really, really nice packaging. I guess these are tulips, maybe? Is how this, they're, and it's like raised and it's got like the indentation to actually make it look like a flower. That is so, so cool. And this is made in the USA. That's very cool. I'm not gonna swatch any of this yet. I feel like this is like a, this like gives me like Mother's Day vibes, but it's very pretty. I love, you can do like a nice warm tone look, but there's a cool blues or the purples and the pinks. There's a lot of fun stuff that you can do. It's not super neutral. Ooh, that is a very, very, very pretty palette. The next thing that I'm pulling out is from Dose Cosmetics, and this is their Lip Definer Pencil, which retails for $22, and it does not give me a shade on the outside. Ah, and this is in the shade 491, so it's like a, a muted pink color. This is like the Twist Up Liner, which I actually prefer. I don't know if I'm keeping this though, so I don't want to open it up yet, but I do like the color. I'm just not a lip liner gal. I just, I go straight in. I don't even care. But I really, really like that color because I could use a lot of, I use a lot of lipsticks within that shade range that would work with it. I just am not a liner gal, so I might put this one in giveaway. 
I still need to decide, but it's very, very cool. Ooh, okay, the next thing out is the set. So this is why it's listed as having six different products. So from Ruby May Cosmetics, we have their magnetic lashes, which retail for $13. These are in the Nikki set. So that's what those look like. And then to go with it, you get the um, Ruby May Cosmetics um, Loha magnetic liner for $13 in black. I'm not going to take this out yet because I'm not, a, I don't wear lashes a ton. So I don't want to like open this and like have it dry out and stuff, but I love magnetic lashes. I struggle to put on regular lashes with glue. It's just, I'm not a big lash gal, so I never really did it, but I find that magnetic line, um, or I, magnetic is just a little bit more forgivable because if you lay it down wrong, you can like, you have more time to like lift it and replace it and lift it and replace it and things like that. So Super duper fun. I love that you get the little set. And then finally, we have a product from Basic Beauty. This is a matte liquid lipstick, which retails for $16. Mine is in the shade Ombre. Ooh, this is very pretty. I might already have this shade, so I'm not gonna swatch it, but I love this shade. I, I've tried their liquid lipsticks. I think they smell really, really good. Um, I just feel like I have a shade or something similar. So if I do, then I do want to give this one away, but it's so, so pretty. And I've had a couple of their liquid lips before and they're very, very nice. All right. Well, that is everything in the May ice cream beauty box. I think, I think it's really good. You get some eyeshadows. You get kind of get double eyeshadows, even though this is like also a blush, but like half of the shades in here are not blushes. I mean, you can go in with a blue blush, but um, like this whole side, I feel like you could use blush, but that whole side you wouldn't. Um, so you kind of get double shadow if you're if you're into that. You get a lip liner and a lip thing. The lip liner is probably a little too light for the shade of lipstick I got, but my hunch is that you might have gotten a different shades um, if you get the box. If you get this box, did you get different shades than what I did? Did you get different eyeshadows? Let us know in the comments below. And then you also get some lashes. So I thought this for 25 bucks, this box was outstanding. Again, I do have a coupon code down below for 10% off. All right, up next, let's jump into the Oddball Club box. I'm thinking this is for May. Now, this is the second time that I'm sharing the Oddball Club on my channel. This was sent to me free for review. And if you're unfamiliar, the Oddball Club is like a monthly subscription that sends you fun little um, small gifts and big smiles each month. There are different size subscriptions. There's a micro, a medium, and a VIP. This time they sent me the micro. This is the most affordable version. The micro is $15 a month, so a very affordable subscription. If you want the medium, it's $28 a month. You get a few more items. And then the VIP is $85 a month. Um, and I think that it's a personalized crate. You get the best option um, to be a patron of small female artists that they feature monthly. With your purchase, we are able to buy items that don't fit other boxes' budgets and you don't go directly to fund the artists and creators who grow their businesses. So that's the VIP box version. But the um, they do include like these female artist brands in all of their boxes from what I understand. I don't have a um, code for this box, but again, um, the micro is super affordable. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It's some fun little rainbow tissue paper there. Um, and then there is a QR code that you can scan to learn more about the goodies. So I will do that. Okay, so this month's theme is a Don't Stop the Music. There is a playlist on their site. I think it's a Spotify playlist that you can play, which is really, really awesome. It says, music is the universal language and it's everything. It's fun to play, it's fun to sing along with, and it's fun to dance whenever and wherever. Um, so there's music related goodies this month. <gasps> oh my gosh, this looks so, so fun. Um, there is also a card with a QR code on it. The very first thing is super fun. This is a concert ticket inspired birthday greeting card. This is printed by Ratbone Skinny, which is like the company that runs the Oddball Club from what I understand. So you get this really fun, it comes with an envelope. Ooh, this is really nice paper. It just says like the rat bone skinny thing. So it says rock and B day, live wherever you are, your birthday, 12 a.m. Rain or shine or live wherever you are. Wow. My brain is great. Um, and then the inside is blank, but it's a really, really nice quality card. I really, really love that. Always love to get birthday cards in subscription boxes. That way I don't have to go out and buy them when it's people's birthdays. I already have a stock of them to use. Ooh, the next thing out is a really, really cute necklace. This is a music note dainty necklace. Let me, I actually really like this necklace. Y'all know I'm a gold gal and this is in gold. Ooh, so just a little, is that a treble clef? I don't even know. Um, and it's just got the nice gold chain that I'm tangling. It does have an extender. 
I really like that necklace. I love dainty jewelry and this one is really, really, I actually really love this. It says make a wish and put on your necklace. Every journey uh, deserves a song. Wear your necklace as a reminder that with the right notes, life can be pitch perfect. Okay, I'm like kind of obsessed with that, not gonna lie. And if it's like is somebody's birthday, to be honest, you could pop this into the card if you if you like wanted to give it away, but I don't because I love it. Ooh, the next thing that was kind of fun. This is a DIY set of five music genre coasters. So paper, paper coasters DIY by adding the cork stickers and trim the edge. Okay, wait, let's open this up. Okay, so you get five sheets of cork. Oh my gosh, if you have like a hamster, hamsters love cork and you could like put these in your enclosure or like any animal that likes cork, but that's, that's besides the point. Um, I will make coasters out of these. And then you get these fun again. Oops. Let me just drop everything really nice paper. So there's a rap mix one, a metal mix one. I am into very heavy music. If you guys, you guys probably missed my uh, collective haul, like I said at the beginning of this, but I talk about the music that I like and I do have some band t-shirts in there. I'm a, I'm a heavy music type of gal, though I like a lot of different things. There's the country mix the punk mix and the pop mix. So you can kind of pick out um, the coasters you want to make and kind of do the little DIY kit. So I really like that. That's kind of a fun idea. All right, there's something listed, but it's not in my box. It says a mini flute that doubles as a real flute music and a pen, but I don't have that in my box. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, but the next thing out is a little pin from the Oddball Club. So this is what it looks like. This is a handmade boombox pin. Ooh, and it's like a chunky pen. Like, that's super cute. It's kind of like rubbery. I have a little jacket that I put all my pins on. Definitely gonna have to add that little boombox pin um, to my pin jacket collection because that's super cool. Now, if you have something missing from your box, like I did definitely just contact customer service and they will be able to help you out. All right, next up we have an art print. This is an eight by 10 music themed print and it's wrapped very well. There is a piece of cardboard so that it stays safe during transit. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of obsessed with this because this is very much within my color scheme and it kind of has like a retro vibe. It says, when words fail, music speaks. Again, on a really nice quality piece of paper. Love that, you can frame it, put it on a pegboard. I actually really, really love this art piece and it, well, I can see a lot of places where this could end up in my home and I really, really, really love that a lot. Okay, this is super duper cute. We got some earrings, y'all. Um, And these aren't any earrings. Oh my gosh, these are sparkly guitar dangle statement earrings. I love, the okay, wait a second, I'm sorry. I have to take my earrings out, like, this is happening right now. I want these in my ears now. Am I ever gonna wear these in public? I don't really know, but honestly, I'm at a point where I don't even really care because I kinda love these. Uh, my dad plays guitar, so I've been around guitars my whole life. <laughs> Sorry. What? Okay, wait, why am I love? Like, this is not my vibe at all, but I'm like kind of obsessed with them. I need this and then the hair clip. Wait a second. If this isn't a vibe, I don't know what is because I am here for it. These earrings are so fun. I love them. This is a moment. I'm gonna take the clip out though, but like I'm obsessed with this. All right, then there are just a couple little fruit chews to get the, is this vanilla or lemon? A lemon and then the lime and the cherry. I love these. And then we have this here. These are the Billy Page flag sticky notes. So it says, choose Billy Eilish's next hair color sticky notes and page flags. Oh, that's kind of fun. I like that. So that is everything in the micro oddball club box for, I think this is May. I'm pretty sure that this is the May box. For $15, I definitely see the value in this box. I think it is so fun. It definitely brought a smile to my face. It's playful. It's cool. I think you get some cool, fun items inside. I feel like if you have like like children, like daughters or whatever, like for 15 bucks, this would like, they would love it. I would have loved this as a kid. I still love this as an adult and it's bringing a smile to my face. So you definitely don't have to be a kid to enjoy it. But like as a child, I would have been super obsessed with this box. Um, again, you can get higher level subscriptions if you want to get more goodies, but this is the May box, the May micro box. All right, last but not least, let's jump into the silver swag box for June. I did switch back into my other earrings. If you're unfamiliar with the silver swag box, this is a monthly subscription for adults and seniors. 
I'm not a senior. I mean, I'm like at the low end of adult, but you can still enjoy it that way. Um, and this helps busy families send love and stay connected to their family members. So it comes with household items, home gadgets, activities, personal care items, conversation cards, and more to help you connect. I don't think you have to be an adult or senior to send this or receive this. I think you could totally purchase this for yourself too. Um, so this is $49.99 a month and comes with lots of goodies inside. I really, really have been enjoying this box. This is sent to me free for review and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get $15 off of your first box. Alrighty, when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It says, hello June. This is the June box. All right, up top we have the paperwork. This month's theme is road tripping a road trip and on top we have a sticker. Ooh, I love this. This is road tripping. I like that. I don't know if this is like one you can put on your car, but it kind of gives me the vibes that you can put this on a car, but we'll confirm in a second if I can or not. Very cool kind of retro vibes. So there are two cards. One goes over everything that is in the box. The other one is the conversation card. So part of this is like being able to stay connected with loved ones. I think this is great, particularly having gone through everything that we have where we've had to be distant from our loved ones. This is a good way to stay connected and be able to have those conversations. Um, so it says summer is definitely the season for being on the go, go, go. What trips have you taken or will you take this summer? Take time to talk to your loved ones about your own trip plans and experiences so you can talk what was your first First road trip like? What's your favorite in the car snack? Describe your perfect travel experience in three words. There's more there, but lots of fun prompts. Do you guys have anything fun planned travel wise this summer? I am going to be going to see my family in Germany, which is going to be super fun. I will be away for two weeks. I don't know how I'm going to do the channel. <laughs> And whether there will be no videos for two weeks or I'll pre-film or I have no idea what that's going to look like, but heads up, uh, that is coming. <laughs> um, and then on the back of the other card, you have everything inside. Okay. The very first thing out is very cool. I thought it was coffee, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised since I don't drink coffee. These are wipes. These are, um, travel wipes from Distill. So it says, keep hands clean while traveling with these sanitizing wipes in a handy pouch. I love this. Um, these are infused with exhilarating rosemary mint essential oils. So it just opens like a regular wipe pack. I love the packaging on this. This is hardcore sanitizing wipes and a handy take along um, pack. And these are crafted with love in Alabama. 50 disposable cotton cloths. Love this. I will be doing a couple like weekend road trips this summer. And these will be super great to pack in the car as you like get food or things like that and whatever. And like, I usually have hand sanitizer. I always have hand sanitizer in the car, but sometimes a wipe is just a little bit better. I love the packaging. And like, it like legit, if like, I didn't tell you these are wipes, like it kind of looks like it could be coffee, right? <laughs> like I'm not crazy, um, but very excited about these. This is a very adult thing to be excited about, but like I'm high key excited about these. All right, the next thing out comes in a little bag. Okay, we got some postcards it looks like. So this is just a silver swag box original and it's a set of postcards. So it says, hey there. And they're really nice postcards to be honest. Miss you, best trip ever. Wish you were here. Hi friend. Ooh, those are super duper fun. So it says, send your regards with a set of five road trip postcards designed just for you by Silver Swagbox. I love how the back isn't just plain white and that they've actually done a design with it. They feel very, very nice. I love the idea of sending postcards. I'm not very good at it. I'm more of a letter person and like a postcard is like everybody can read what you wrote on a postcard. I'm a little more private than that, but I do think that these are super duper fun. All right, the next thing out is from Viv and Lou and this is their castaway tote bag. So you got one of these nice, pretty rope totes. It says, pack for wherever the road takes you with this large cotton canvas tote bag. It comes in navy, pink, or teal. Clearly I got the pink. Um, it looks like this does open up a decent amount. It's a pretty big tote bag. I love these kind of like rope tote bags for the summer. Ooh, oh, this is great. The inside is like, you can probably tell like w rubber lined, so it's like waterproof inside. There is an inside pocket. All right, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this, but the fact that it is kind of like rubberized on the inside so that if you spill something, you can just wipe it out super easily. Oh, I love that. Okay, well, I don't need another tote bag, but I got one. Super fun um, color. This would actually be a good beach one just because of that kind of inside kind of rubbery material. Very, very cool. It's, it's big. It's pretty big too. Like, like it's big. I, can, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but 
I am a massive, massive fan of this and tote bag's always great for traveling. You can throw snacks or clothes or whatever the case may be in a little tote bag or your big tote bag, cause it's kinda big. Ooh, okay, the next thing out is some travel trivia from Gift Republic. Anywhere your road trip takes you, these travel trivia cards will show you the world all in one car ride. Oh, it's like a car ride type thing, I guess. So then there's just this, so like this one here. Where is the resort of Salala? Oman, Egypt, or Sudan? And it's Oman. So it tells you on the back, like, and you can go through them. That's, that's kind of fun to like play in the car as you're like, you have a long trip or whatever, somebody can read them out. Obviously not the driver, um, but somebody can kind of read those out or you don't even have to be traveling. You can do something like that, so. Very cool, I, that's super fun, I love that. All right, then we have a couple things from P. Graham Dunn. First we have the car coasters. Now I have a couple of these in my cart and I love these, so I'll probably put these ones in a giveaway just because I already have some. This one says, hello summer and is a little bit tropical. And then this one says, sunshine kisses and summer wishes. Um, these are really, really great. These ceramic coasters you can put in your cup holder. Um, that way if things get drippy or whatever, it's dripping on this versus the other and it helps keep things cool just because of the, um, Material, I think I could be lying, but I really love these to so get another set of those. Not another, for me it's another, for most people it may not be. And then you get a cute little key chain. Um, it says, hello summer, so it matches the little coaster there and it's got this cool like, can you unsnap it? No, yes? Yeah, you can unsnap it. So you don't have to keep the hello summer on if you don't want to. You could just kind of use um, this part of it and put anything else on it and just get a little clippy clip. Very cute. Um, and then last but not least is the snacks. <laughs> My favorite part. And these ones are really, really good. So we're from Ferris Nut Co. And the very first one is gummy bears. <laughs> Y'all. Oh my God, these look so good. Yummy, yummy. These are like squishy, the squishy kind. I feel like these are, I don't know if these will, but it looks like they might fit in a cup holder, which would be like absolutely perfect. Very, very fun. I'm so excited about those. And then they also have the country mix, which is just basically a trail mix. You get peanuts and raisins and M&Ms. There are some big old raisins in here. Um, this is so, so fun. So it says, no trip is complete without snacks. And we've got you covered with these convenient cup holder size snacks. All right, I was right, fit in your cup holder. So I love that. So that was everything in the June silver swag box. I love kind of the road trip and theme. It is perfect perfect for this time of year. This one, I love themes of subscription boxes. That's like sometimes the best part. I thought this was really good. I'm probably most excited about the wipes and the snacks because that was pretty darn good. And don't forget, I do have the $15 off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up. So that was everything in this week's subscription box Sunday video. Definitely tell me all your thoughts on the boxes. What was your favorite box in this video? And what was your favorite item in this video? Would love, love, love to hear that down in the comments below. Again, don't forget to check out my Cider Try On Fashion Haul and the Collective Haul super duper fun videos that I really had a fun time um, making. Do you wanna see more of that on my channel? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you in my next video.